we are now going to have the prayers of the people. These are prayers for our people, for the world, for ourselves. And we also recognize that we have been worshiping in very many different ways currently, but we want to acknowledge that our bodies are part of the ways in which we encounter God. And so I'm going to invite you to take up a few different postures during this prayer to express this prayer in a different way. I know this might feel weird and awkward to begin with, but I invite you to give it a try. Let us pray together. We are going to start with our hands stretched up and out in thanksgiving. God of abundance, of extravagance, you have been a God of grace, of blessing, of giving life and faithfulness for all generations. We praise you for the quiet work of healing and redemption throughout our world and throughout history for Jesus' humbling himself to lead us home to you, for the Holy Spirit revealing to us your overflow of love, which we only know something, a little piece about. We are thankful for birthdays, for unexpected joy, for beauty of canola and flowering things, for routines we've found, for time we didn't know we had. We th are thankful for peace and reconciliation between nations and tribes, the witness of the church in loving deeds, which speak to the life that we have in you. We thank you for caring communities, the sacrifice of those who serve, and in new life in Christ, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, we give you thanks. I now invite you to bow your head and fold your hands because we come to God with our needs and petitions. Living God, you are the giver of new life and renewed hope. To you we bring our prayers for creation as it groans, continues to groan in bondage and decay for nations at war and people oppressed by their governments, for justice for the poor, for racial reconciliation, for employment, and for equality in education and housing. We pray for burned out parents and healthcare workers, discouraged teachers, cynical followers of Jesus, for all who are sick, lonely, fearful, anxious, unemployed or underemployed, sad, weary, grieving, disappointed, and depressed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our cries for help and healing. We give you thanks that beneath this tumult of our lives and within our own beaten hearts, we know that you, God, are with us and will be with us still. And now a prayer of dedication. So I invite you to um, stretch out your hands as you dedicate your life again. O oh God, as you cause the sun to rise, bring the light of Christ's resurrection to dawn in our souls and dispel all darkness. Give us grace to reflect Christ's victory over evil and the promise that all will be made well. Let your love show in our deeds, your peace shine in our words, and your healing in our touch and presence. As we continue to be transformed, may we cling to kindness and mercy, to courage and trust, to faith and patient hope, to undying selflessness. By your Spirit, help us to offer ourselves to you as those who have gone before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus and serving you as instruments of righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Even in our time apart, we have still been a giving community, one who gives of ourselves in time, but also in resources and money. And so we invite you to consider the ways which we can give of, of those things continuously or in new ways in our community and in our families and in our spaces of worship. Um, we today have an offering for Woody Nook Ministries and for cash as you serve. May you know God's presence. Amen. And so as you go through whatever it is you go through today, 
tomorrow and the rest of this week. As you join the celebration, getting a taste for what the good life really is, or as you simply walk through your daily slog and feel as though you just have to endure, may you go with his blessing. I invite you to raise out your hands to receive this blessing, maybe even to stand to recognize that God himself is here giving you this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen.